Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Today I hope that the initial scare regarding the lightning strike has passed. As I said, I won't comment further. Each of you will take the journey as it presents itself to you. The only thing I will say here, is for those whose time zone is a little ahead of where video is generated, and that this generated many doubts. Use whatever lightning you have in your hands that day. Only that. So I will say nothing more on this subject. Yes, I will comment on what walking through the rays means, so that you understand the importance of what you are doing. I created a great metaphor here, where I say that we are making a great film, the film of your walk. This is not entirely metaphorical. We are truly watching each and every one of you. In the way you transmute feelings and in the decrees you are making. Many have easily got it right, how to do it, others are having more difficulty. But what I can say is that everyone will get there, even those who have extreme difficulty, open your hearts and ask for help from the beings above, from the beings around you. Not to anyone, physicist. I already explained here that each ray has a color. Why does each ray have a color? Because each ray has a different frequency, it has a different action. So the way to differentiate them is through color. So it's not simply going through a shower of light, and each day receiving a different color. The color of each ray, as you meditate, stays with you until the next color emerges. So it's as if that color stayed in your body for approximately 24 hours, acting according to its purpose, the purpose of each color. So when you start on the blue ray, which is the ray of creation, of generating new movements, that ray is coupled to your aura, capturing from the universe, everything that is possible within your soul path, so that you can start something, so that you can perceive new paths, new options, new procedures, new habits, so that you can understand that the world changes all the time. So the great secret of your material life is to always put yourself in motion. What I mean by this. What a boring life it is where you wake up, and every day you make the same movement, do the same things. They go to the same job, they come back. They return home, the same discussions, the same statements, everything the same. What happens as time passes? It becomes an empty life, a dull life. Because it's as if today, you can already know what your next days will be like, for years, and that discourages you a lot. How to change this? Don't repeat the same things every day. Every day look for a new way, a new way of doing things, a new way of thinking, a new way of acting, a new way of seeing life, a new way of living. Then that boring and repetitive life starts to have a little more light. Because when you stop, to try to create something, that is evolution, this is moving forward. Now if you stay in the same place, every day, doing the same thing, it's as if you were, like that little animal that keeps running around inside the cage, running on that little wheel, thinking it's going to get somewhere, and then it won't get out. This is the feeling. You walk, walk, and come back to the same place. Their lives move in a circle, they don't get out of it. So what's new? What is Blue Ray? It is this power to invent, the power to imagine, the power to modify. Because when you modify, you generate a new beginning. That changed, it stopped being that endless wheel. There may even be another training wheel, but you created something, you changed something. But you tend to have the habit of living, even in your homes, in little boxes. You get up and do the same things every day, nothing changes. So why not change? If you get up, do your hygiene, drink coffee, then take a shower, get ready. Why not get up, take a shower, clean up, get ready and then have coffee? Realize that you broke the routine, the routine is the same, in fact it is the same, but you have created a new synchrony, you have created a new path and you may even discover that it is more pleasant than before. But when you find a way, it's over. It's the one for the rest of your life, they don't change, they don't insist on changing. Why? What feeling prevails there? Fear is always him, fear. What am I going to change for? Oh, 
it's going to be wrong, I'm not going to start all over again. Exactly. And then you stay on that little wheel, walking all the time, without getting anywhere, because you didn't even give yourselves the chance to try something new. Then one day you can have breakfast sitting at the table, one day you can have it in the kitchen, one day you can have it in your room. Many people see in films, having breakfast in bed and find it very interesting. Why not? Then I see a lot of housewives here saying, Ah, I don't have time for that, my life is too busy. Exactly, not even you change your routine. Even you are not capable of creating something new, because you do everything within your own time. For what? So I ask you, where are these rules written, which you follow every day? Of course, a messy house, a dirty house, does not attract good energy, because this is synonymous with negative energies, for the accumulation of negative energy, correct. But will it be a problem one day when you get out of bed and don't make it? The problem is caused if you make it a habit, because then you start to follow a strange path. But if you wake up that day, saying to yourself, today I don't do anything. Just eat prepare my meal and nothing else. Very good. Will you be arrested for this? Ah, uh, no, but you can't because someone might arrive. What will someone think of me? That I'm relaxed or relaxed? Are you more worried about your freedom and your life, or what the other person will think? Oh, that's not right. You are worried about what others are thinking. And then that day passes, no one shows up at your house, so your worry doesn't matter much. Do you realize my brothers, how do you put yourself in closets? It's not, boxes, it's, cabinets, because of the other. How will others look at you? How will you be judged? Interesting. And then you set up your life, beautiful and perfect, everything tidy, everything clean, everything smelling good, everything in its place. And there are some of you, who get sick about it. Because you can't see, a millimeter out of place. They get sick, because this unbalances any brain. Then I ask, what for? What are you experiencing? Anything. Your life is packing, tidying, cleaning, all day long. Or for those who work outside, life is about leaving everything tidy, working, coming back and continuing tidying. It doesn't matter if you're tired, or if you feel like throwing your shoes in the air and keeping your legs raised, oh, no, you can't do that. Because the whole family will ask you, hey, why are you like that? Why is the house messy? Where's my dinner? Exactly, because you also raise your children, depending on you. If all of you, father and mother, raised your children, did you get up? Make your bed. Take your glass. Put on your coffee. He finished. Wash your glass. And then, you wouldn't have so much trouble, and everyone would take care of themselves. No one would be tired. What's the difference between washing a plate, a glass, and a cutlery, than washing the dishes for the whole family? I think there is a small difference there. But you don't. There is immeasurable love. Are you a mother or a father? No, my kids won't do that. Poor. No, my children have to live their lives. This is my responsibility. Where is this written? Did father or mother God ever write this somewhere? Or was this imposed by those who wanted you to really only live in little boxes? Within concepts of tidiness, beauty, cleanliness, extremely exaggerated. No, I'm not saying here. For all of you to drop everything, the house becomes a big mess, dishes jammed in the sink. No, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that everyone has to do their part. Not just one, do everyone's part. That's not fair. But who created this? Yourselves. So now you can't complain. You raised children who were extremely dependent on everything. Yes. I can even make a reservation here, that there are many children, who were not raised like that. And I congratulate the parents, who did this, 
who gave their children the idea that everyone has to take care of themselves. And that everyone has to do for the whole, not just for themselves. So it's teaching a child, if he sees something wrong, he goes there and fixes it. Don't wait for mom or dad to fix it. Let him go there and fix it, take the initiative to fix it. Something out of place, he can go there and put it in place. No, the little children are all waiting for mom and dad to put everything in place and do everything. They are those lying in the hammock, drinking juice, ordering food in hand all the time. This is the generation that is there. That's why many of you just find yourself lying in a hammock, because you have no incentive to do anything. Life is wonderful. I lie in the hammock all the time. And what happens to your soul journey? Just lie in the hammock like you. Because the soul does not walk, it does not evolve. So my brothers, you stuck to concepts, rules, which cannot be modified. Ah, if you change one of these rules, the house goes into chaos. And then come the charges. I understand that many here who are listening to me, if they did this at home, I would even say that it would lead to domestic violence. Because that holy husband doesn't accept it. So I ask you women, those who don't need to subject themselves to this, why are you subjecting yourself? You are individual souls.